about you, okay? With Oliver, Oliver Fisher. So he's won on the European tour. He's playing this week in the BMW PJ Championship. Oliver, do you go by Ollie? Ollie's good. Ollie's yeah. good. Okay. Yeah, Ollie's Ollie, good. Um, what are your, what are the strengths of your game? The strengths of my game. Um, um, do yeah. You got it. Yeah, I got it. The uh, strengths of my game would be, um, you know, when I'm playing well, you know, fairways and greens, you know, hitting it well for the team, my ball striking, mm -hmm. and um, you know. Obviously, when you're on, you can hit it pretty close to the hole, so and make a few putts. Hopefully, just kind of, kind of all the things that you want it to be. I think, um, you know, out on the European tour, you have to be quite versatile and different conditions. And right. you know, I think as I've been out longer and longer, my game's getting more adapted to, to certain styles. So, um, you know, hopefully, I have a good week this week at Wentworth. It's a course that I like, and um, you know, hopefully, the, the weather warms up a little bit, which I think it will do the next couple of days. But um, you know, it's a it's a great place to come and play. Right. You have uh, what? Kind of, or what kind of player does this course suit? I think um, you know, this will be my maybe eight uh, PJ Championship wow. at Wentworth. So you can't be that old. Um, <laughs> no, so you know, the course has changed a little bit in the times. So right. There was a rerun, uh, a redesign with Ernie. Yeah. So um, since then, I think it's been a bit more. Um, you know, the scoring has been tougher. Mm -hmm. So I think it kind of suits. Um, it suits someone that's hitting it well. If you're hitting the ball well, mm -hmm. I mean the greens here have, you know, maybe not in the best condition they've ever been in uh, this week. But, mm -hmm. but generally, you'd say that you know the course does give it ch give yourself chance on the on the back nine. But generally, getting through the front nines, they're probably the, the toughest part of the course. Um, the bunkers on the fairways are deep, so you need to avoid those. So I'd, I'd say if your ball striking's good, if you're hitting it well off the tee, and and then giving yourself a chance on the greens, you, you'll generally do all right around here. Um, it can get tough when you start missing it a bit, because obviously it's very tree-lined. Um, right. You know, the rough's up, and yeah. you know, with the conditions how they are now, it can always be a little bit wet, so you know, the rough's hard to get out of. Um, the bunkers are obviously deep, and the, and the, the ferry bunkers are deep, so uh -huh. you know you have, to, uh, you have to be in play. Yeah, it's interesting that you said the front nine that you think is more challenging, because mm. I've talked to some other guys, asked them, you know, what if there was a hole that when they get to, they're like, oh gosh, I've played this hole, and they all said the stretch starting on number thir from 13 on. Mm. So it's interesting you say the front. Is there a hole for you that is yeah, particularly you're the scores, challenging? No, notoriously, you know, it ends with 17, 18, end with two par fives, mm -hmm. 16 is short par four, then obviously 14 is the, the par three up the hill, which you can... You know, if you hit a good iron shot there, you can the green can help you out a little mm -hmm. bit and get close. Um, 15 is a tough hole, and 13 is all about the drive. You know, it depends on the wind and the weather. Mm -hmm. You know, if you can get the driveway there, it leaves a pretty uh, you know, a mid iron, mid to short iron mm -hmm. into the green. So, you know, 15 is obviously the, the the tough hole. Otherwise, you can use there's chances wedges, and you know, you can go for 17, 18, and two. Um, so, you know, you can always you can you've always been able to make a little run at Wentworth if you. You know, not going great in the front, you can kind of pick a few shots mm -hmm. on the back, and you know, also make it into a really good round if you're going well. So I think um, I think the score, you know, the back nine is there to to kind of score on if you like. The front nine, if you get through the first few and, and level ish, you're doing well. So this course is all about, in my opinion, it's all about you know ball striking and, and hitting it well and hitting it in play, and then and then obviously giving yourself the chances, which right. is uh, which is the main thing really. You know, yeah. the guys that. Guys that have done well here over the years have generally been good ball strikers. So. Right. Um, well, sounds like it sets up well for your buddy Rory, who I saw you talking to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think um, you know, Rory's Rory's playing the golf of his life, isn't he, right now? So I think uh, you know any anywhere would pretty much suit him. Yeah. Any way he plays, you know, here you'd have to draw it as well. So you know the holes like four, seventeen, you know, eighteen, even so, you can just take it over the corner now. Mm -hmm. So it's not. Um, there's not really a, you know, the holes that you can you can make an eagle or you know guarantee a birdie on by hitting a good driver tend to be right to left. Um, yeah, and it, you know, went much tricky because the wind it's always windy. I think yeah, the four guys just windy. windy. It's been windy the past few days. Well, even if there's a little bit of breeze, it swells. So you know, it's right. it's tricky to judge. You know, so whatever the breeze is, it's always hard to to kind of get it spot on because there's so many little variations in direction and things and know where the where the wind is and you know it kind of backing up at you a little bit in places and you know you've got it off the left and it fills in off the right you know so all those things out there is, is kind of what makes the course great I think. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're from England right? You're English so is this sort of like a home event for you? Yeah 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 I live like an hour away so my family will be here this week cheering me on. Oh and, nice. Um, yeah so it's a nice week for me it's, it's great it's no pretty close to home um, so hopefully it's, hopefully it's a good one. Uh, and I know
I know that you tried to go through a PGA Tour qualifying Q school a few years back. Is that still something you're aspiring to, to play on the PGA Tour? Yeah, I'd love to one day. Um, you know, I think, well, I, was just, I ended up missing by a shot, I think, in 2013 yeah. or something, maybe. So, you know, it's been unfortunate because that was the year they changed from... Right. Uh, they didn't have Q school anymore was, after yeah, that. Yeah, it was, it was yeah. Q school that year, and then we obviously went Q school for web.com, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a good opportunity to go through it then, and, you know, it was unfortunate I didn't make it. So, you know, hopefully one day we'll move out the world rankings and get into that top 50 and can have a crack at it. Yeah, and this is a random question, but um, if you could play with one musician, who would it be and why? Um, one musician, who would it be and why? Uh, I don't know, I think... I think I'd... I'd actually like to play with um, with a band. You know, I'd like band? to I'd, I'd like to play with the Stone Roses just because you know I like I love Oasis and I think you know, I hear a lot of a lot of the Stone Roses in Oasis and I know that, that they looked up to them and you know I love I love the bass um, you know, just the sound of the tunes really so I like the Stone Roses um, so no, I listen to those. Cool, thanks. Cheers. All right, thanks for your time. Play Thank well you. this week. See you later.